to another edition of my legal experience my name is damola tentokoyeipo if you are yet to subscribe please do press the notification button in case we drop any new video also don't forget to give us thumbs up comment on this video and then share so that somebody will learn so today we are still in the real estate thing we're still trying to talk about real estate at large and i've made um some points so far so today i will be talking about part of those important questions you need to ask from marketers and real estate companies before you can subscribe with them especially in lagos you know this is my lagos experience so you need to ask probably different questions if you are not in lagos you want to buy lands that are not in lagos or something uh, but of course something it uh, and all states together and that is reader part of the registration that is very 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 important to all real estate companies they need to be part of redan yes you might not have heard it before and stuff like that and there's a reason for this organization for this association so it is real estate developers association in nigeria Real Estate Developers Association in Nigeria, which means that uh, it brings all real estate developers together to solve intended cases, to solve some things, to discuss, to know the way forward. The essence of association is to bring heads of all the people, the heads that man a particular uh, profession so that they can all be in a basket if there is any issues with any one of them they can all come together and sanction or correct or advise such association member so um freedom yeah uh, of course if you have real estate even if you don't have real estate company in lagos and you have it in aquaibum or anything you need to be part of reader yes you need to be part of reader so if you're not in lagos any real estate company you are buying from should be and ought to be and must be a reader member so that you know your buy usually says something that uh, a key must have an holder even if, if you if the key get lost it is the holder that you that might really really help you in getting to know where the key is if you're searching for it and some people will be like uh, a needle must have a thread for you to be traceable so any real estate companies you're buying a land from must be part of reading one way or the other now that is just that about uh the lasrera you lasrera is definitely not in ibadan or kwaibom or you or cardinal or castina or any well to whoever but it's actually for lagos developers Anybody you are buying land from in Lagos must be part, must be registered with Lasrera. So um, you cannot say that uh, uh, you want to buy a land from someone and the person is not registered with Lasrera or probably their registration is on hold. You are on your own. You need to be very careful, especially when you're dealing with anybody in Lagos and it has to do with real estate. That is the surest and the perfect and the easiest way to, to, to dupe you of your hard earned money. So, anybody you are buying land from, any real estate company you are buying land from, must be registered with Lasrera. We have re different types of real estate in, in Lagos alone, in Nigeria. That one is even <laughs> far away. In Lagos alone, we have Zylos, we have Adron, we have Revolution Plus, we have P1, we have Suji Motors, that one deals with construction, we have Amen Estates, and then we have Landway, and a whole lot of them. So if you are dealing with anybody, either of them, any one of them, anywhere, and in Lagos, they need to be registered with La Serra, so that we can reduce the rate at which people fall victims, especially to real estate developers, 
That was why the Lagos State Government formed that harm, that particular agency, for any real estate developers in Lagos. If you want to sell a part, even if you want to sell a toilet, you need to be part. There's going to be a day that that will be compulsory for all marketers in Lagos State. So for you to be able to sell anything in Lagos, you need to be registered with Las Rera. So for you, who looks everywhere to buy land? Some some people can just wake up one day and say they want to buy land. And I'm not even talking about people that has a lot of money. I'm talking to people that their life savings they put together to buy a land of seven hundred thousand of one million, and still you are being duped for it. You need to be very 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 careful. Ask the right questions. Part of the right questions are how much. Is the uh, infrastructure? Is there any other hidden charges apart from the amount of land you're charging me? If I'm paying two million naira for this land, am I supposed to pay another amount of money? If yes, how much is it? How much will they be in the nearest future? Those are the kind of questions you need to ask. Do you have registration with Las Rera? Are you involved with Redan? Uh, if you're buying in Lagos, then you need to ask those questions. They need to give you the number, the registration number of their last rare registration they need to tell you if they are truly involved with freedom and you need to confirm this then ask questions what are the documents i need to get you need you need to get your receipt your invoice your contract of sale then when you're done uh, when you're done with the payment even with the uh, inf uh, infrastructure and everything you need to get your document papers and every other thing Ask the right question. If I want to resell, can I come to you to resell? Can you buy it back from me? Of course, some will tell you yes, but it's actually a blatant lie. If they are selling that estate at 80 million naira, by the time you come back, and then you bought it at 3 million naira, it's going to be very hard for them to collect from you and give you 8 million naira. No, it will not happen. You have to look for buyer yourself. You have to look for buyer yourself. You have to do all the runnings yourself or you talk to a marketer and tell if you can just sell this particular land for me, okay, if your company gives you 6% or 10%, I will give you 20%. But I'm still telling you that it will still be slightly difficult for that person to sell it for you, yeah. So you need to ask a lot of questions when buying land from any real estate company. You shouldn't fall victim to them any longer after this video. You need to watch this video as many times as possible so that you'll be enlightened, so that you understand the in and out of how it works. There are processes to all those things. So that you will come tomorrow and say, oh, they duped me, oh, they collected me. And also for allocation. I said I was going to talk about allocation, too, so I will talk about it today. Allocation is always between three to six months for some people, for some real estate company. They will tell you, before you can get allocated, you will get a provisional letter of allocation quite all right. They will, you will see your block number and your plot number and stuff like that. Some will even tell you that you're due for your allocation. But the most problem, the, 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 most, the popular problem people usually have is the issue of allocation. If you are not done with your first, all, all the land payment and infrastructure fees, you can never be allocated physically. Don't be fooled. See, let me tell you, there are some land in some ex-states, in some real estate company that you will buy for two millionaire and the infrastructure will be three millionaire. And that three millionaire for infrastructure fee are actually worth it. Because you see massive gatehouse, you see a lot of things that the government is not even providing for you living in that state. You will see it in that estate. So, it is always advisable to ask proper questions. If possible, if you have a lawyer, get your lawyer involved so that they will not be batting batty after a long time. In some real estate companies, their, their estate, in their estate, you, you will see balls, you will see sewage system, you will see uh, drainage system, you will see uh, electricity would have been there already. So if they tell you that you should pay $3 million for infrastructure fee, then you shouldn't say no. Because they provided like more than 70% of everything you needed in that estate if you are packing in. But some real estate companies, 
You will not see drainage, let alone um, gate house. In fact, the gate house, by the time they build it, you'll be wondering where your own estate is, what they want, what they advertise to you. You'll be wondering where what they advertise to you is. So, infrastructure fees are always very, very important before you can collect your, you can get your allocation, your physical allocation for any land you buy. So instead of you to start doing uh, a guessing game, please don't guess. Ask proper questions. In fact, if it takes you to heart 10 times, you are the one paying. They just want to collect your money and get uh, their commission. Marketers can be very, very dangerous. Always ask the right questions. If possible, if we are still thinking that, is it true? Um, are they really saying the truth or something? Go to the real estate company themselves. Go and meet with them. Ask proper questions. If possible, record your conversation with them and talk to the most important person in that company, not just a marketer or front desk officer. Because the rate at which people collect money from their clients and not give them the worth for the money, it's on the high side. So, anyway, I don't have much to tell you about this. Than to say, if you're buying land from any real estate company in Lagos, ensure they are involved with Redan, ensure they are registered with La Serra in Lagos. And ask vital questions. Ask them, if it takes you to ask it 100 times, keep asking till you are convinced that they are telling you the truth. And then you, if you, you feel they are not telling you the truth, go to the real estate company yourself, ask proper questions, go on their Instagram page, ask the same questions. Ask, keep asking till you understand what they're trying to tell you. Then you can now give them your money. You weigh your options, ask about refund, ask about allocation, ask about payment, ask about payment options. There are some real estate a lot of them, they will give you a span of one year. A lot of them will give you a span of 12 months. If after 12 months you did not finish your payment, it's going to attract some charges. Ask those questions because you are not in charge. It's not that you stored one money in CBN that you can go at any point. Anything can happen at any point in time. You might not be able to finish the payment in 12 months. Ask all the questions. Ask everything. Dot your eyes and cross your T's. It is not an easy thing to gather money and then waste it because somebody just collected the money from you. I can't say more than that. I have given you my own cent. You need to go ahead and do your own proper investigation. There is Google. Google it. In fact, the titles of land in Lagos, I will leave you to go and Google it. Google it. Check thoroughly. So when they ask you, when they tell you they have land of C or 4, you see or 4, Ask them, will you give me this document, the CFO? If somebody had asked me before that, can I borrow money with the document you're going to be giving me because it has CFO? Ask vital questions. When you see those, you know what the land titles are. Then you cannot ask them, can I build on this with this title? Can I build on the land with this title? What can I do with this title? Is this title valid now? When can I wait before I can start? Ask questions. Nobody needs to ask these questions for you. Don't come later and say that they duped you. It's very easy to dupe you if you don't read. The form they give you, read in and out. In fact, read what they did not write. See what they did not write. Always check the document they give you so that you don't get surprised when you see some things or when things start on for them. All right, my name is Damlola Temitopo Yoyiko, and if you are yet to subscribe, please do press the notification button in case we drop any new video. And also, don't forget to like this video. Let me see your comment. We need to talk about this. And please don't forget to share. Somebody might really, really, really need to say this. Thank you and bye-bye.